hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is mojo Yalegbe. if this is your first time kindly subscribe today i'm not going to be taking much of your time i'm going to be talking about eight mistakes that small youtubers make yes mistakes that small youtubers make so without further ado let's get into this video first on the list is going to be long intros like oh my god long intros can be so boring and is not engaging so anybody who is coming to your page for the very first time they will see like oh my god can this person just go straight to the point like this long intro is so not necessary and if your intro is too long if it is already more than like 10 seconds or so your viewer is definitely going to lose interest so please cut out the long intros i know i'm also guilty of that because my past videos they've had long intros the second one is going to be unattractive thumbnails and titles why would you have great content and put out or design a very very unattractive thumbnail you should actually look out for a lot of videos where you can learn how to get great thumbnails or how to create using wonderful apps there are like a thousand and one applications you can use to create attractive thumbnails do not take your viewers away by yourself because if you do not have great titles or catchy titles to attract your viewers then your video is not going to go far at all and I know every YouTuber's dream is to go viral. So you just have to do the needful to get the viewers that you require. Now, moving on to the third point, which is not going straight to the point. When you do not go straight to the point, a whole lot of people tend to get tired or they just get bored because they're like, oh, okay, I need to just go straight to the point. And if you do not go straight to the point, a lot of people just tend to just drag through and start at the point place where you're telling the point so that means you are losing a whole lot of watch time if you do not go straight to the point and buttress on it instead of like going through going in circles you have to go straight to the point because for somebody to have tapped on your video they saw the title they saw the thumbnail and they actually just want to get the information the fourth point the fourth point is please and please do not delete your old videos do not delete your old videos because that could actually be a potential selling point for you later if you look at your videos now you should see your videos as investments because if they do not blow up now you might actually have a video that is going to blow you up later in the nearest future and those viewers might want to just go through your page and the video that you think is not doing well now it might actually do well much later and it might bring in a lot of income for you so please and please do not delete your old videos especially when youtube is not giving you a strike for that video or anything but because you just feel like the video is not doing well or anything just leave that video do not delete your old videos the fifth point which is being a perfectionist this point is literally talking to me being a perfectionist will only stop you from doing what you're supposed to do at the right time or it will stop you from starting what you're supposed to start early enough because being a perfectionist on my end i'll tell you what happened youtube i should have started it a long time ago but i didn't start it because i was comparing myself to other youtubers like oh this person she has this camera oh she uses canon oh she uses sony oh she uses this she uses that oh i do not have a light box i don't have this i do not have that right now i am only filming with my phone a tripod and a ring light a led light actually so please and please do not be a perfectionist especially now i'm actually supposed to even give up on all these videos i'm making because i still look at other people's video i know but the point i'm trying to get to and i am not there yet because i feel like oh okay some of the editing i want to do i cannot edit it properly on my phone i may actually need a laptop for that but pending the time i'll get a laptop let me still continue on my phone because the longer i wait the more time it will take me to get to my desired goal so it is better you start now and quit being a perfectionist don't say oh i don't have this 
oh i don't have nice clothes oh i don't have this phone oh i don't have this laptop oh just start with whatever it is that you have do not just quit being a perfectionist please now to my next point which is do not fear don't be afraid of anything especially when you want to talk about a topic which might be sensitive or you feel oh if i talk about this topic how would people look at me or if i talk about this topic then it might land me in trouble i'm not talking about trouble like police type of trouble or maybe you see like or maybe your family members are going to watch it and they're going to be like ah, ah, why did you have to talk about such topic that it is weird it is not good it is this it is that do not cut out some topics because you feel oh some people are not going to be cool with it well by the time you are making your money they will eventually be cool with it so do whatever you so please just don't be afraid and go for whatever it is that you want to talk about this seventh point is very very important and this a whole lot of people are guilty about this that is taking long breaks when you take long breaks away from your youtube you might take long breaks because oh your youtube channel is not doing well oh i do not have a whole lot of subscribers oh i'm putting in a whole lot of work and i'm not getting any results for it my dear there is nothing that is easy there is no work you want to do that is easy so you just have to pick your poison don't 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 just try to take long breaks you just have to keep choking us keep choking us i'm not saying you release videos like every day back to back to back but you can do the videos like twice in a week however it is convenient for you because if you rush yourself so you might not be able to keep up with the standard you've set so just do whatever you feel will be comfortable or convenient with you and something you'll be able to keep up with now this is the final point and i'm not trying to bore you out and i hope you watch this video to the end the last point is marketing strategy just how when you have a business how do you promote your business like do you post it on whatsapp do you post it on twitter do you post it on instagram how do you sell yourself how do you want to get your viewers whenever you make a video just cultivate the habit of posting the links beg people to follow go into people's dm cajole them or just when you also create very attractive thumbnails like i said earlier it would automatically attract people to come to your page like oh what is this person talking about what is this person saying in this video oh i want to see it i would like to know what this person is talking about so please and please market yourself market yourself in a way that okay even brands will want to reach out to you